best advice I've ever received about presenting, really, is be yourself. People want to engage with you. They want to know how you're feeling, what you think, your perspective, your views. And, and they also want, I mean, you're in their homes, you're in their cars, you're in their ears, you're in their intimate spaces. So they want to feel that they're comfortable around you. Uh, hopefully they might even like you, or even if they don't, at the very least they respect you, but they've got to know what they're dealing with. So you have to be yourself. In a love environment, you're dealing with the same kinds of things. But I suppose radio gives you the luxury of not worrying about what you look like or what you're wearing or even your expressions. Everything on television counts. Uh, I might be interviewing somebody that perhaps I don't really like. And my responses in terms of just my body language and my nonverbal cues say a lot. So on television, I think you've got to be aware and you've got to be alive to those things. Radio is a lot more fun. I think you can be a lot more relaxed. You roll your eyes, you make notes. You remonstrate in ways that the other person will never know. The exciting thing about being back in a live environment is that, you know, news is going to break quite constantly, particularly on the afternoon drive. So there's that sense of you really need to be plugged in to what's going on. There's going to be that moment, there's going to be that day that no matter how prepared you think you are, that might throw you off. Um, the night Mandela died, I mean, everyone and his uncle in the media had an M plan. We'd been thinking about it for years. Um, you know, of course, it's Nelson Mandela and, and this day was going to come. The night he died, I went to bed early. I didn't know about it until the next morning. And I got a call from my boss who said, literally what he said is, I want Tabon Begi in studio on Sunday and he dropped the phone. I'm thinking, oh wow, like I've got him on speed dial, right? Uh, obviously we made a few phone calls, uh, you know, and the answer was get a crew to Tabumbeke's house, here's the address in half an hour, which is exactly what I said to him when I phoned him back and then I put the phone down. Now, the tricky part of this was that there was some water thing, some failure in the system in my neighborhood. There was no water. This is the day I get to sit with Thabo Mbeki. Nelson Mandela has died. The country needs to know what's going on. And I didn't wash. I hadn't showered. But, you know, you put on your clothes and you show up and you engage. And that interview went out that very afternoon on television because obviously we went live. Uh, on that Friday afternoon. So no matter how prepared you are, there's always something in the background that viewers and listeners perhaps will never know about until an interview like this. But I don't have a bucket list because every day is a new day. I'm an in the moment person. You know, I've got ideas, I've got plans, but I'm here, I'm present. Oh, I can't wait to talk. I can't wait to talk to the callers. I can't wait to talk to the listener. You know, I have had the privilege of working on carte blanche for the last 10 years. And our particular strength is, along with the investigative pieces, but to provide analysis. People sit in front of their television screens and they think, I've kind of heard what happened on the radio, but what does it mean? That's a powerful way to tell stories, that's a powerful way to inform people about what's going on. But it's not immediate. It's not as it happens, when it happens. And, and I want to be part of that conversation. There are people who are smart. There are people who are informed. There are people who are challenging. There are people who have crazy views. And they're all part of the conversation. This is what I'm most excited about. Uh, for this opportunity is that I'm going to be talking directly to them as events unfold. We're going to learn together, we're going to disagree, we're going to grow together and we're going to unpack it together in real time. That for me is the most exciting part about this opportunity. I want to talk. Am I the life of the party at the dinner table or am I the listener? I think, I think if you're a person who is curious, um, who is interested in what's going on, you have to be a little bit schizo. There are days where I am the fly on the wall and I want to listen. 
uh, particularly if I think that people are not going to speak once I have spoken. So there are times I am the fly on the wall, there are times I will just throw one or two questions and kind of get the ball rolling and let people speak. Because also the other thing is that when you're in the media, you, you always want people around you to be able to feel that they too are heard. It can't be your show, you know, especially around the dinner table. But of course there are moments where, no, I will not allow that. Not in my presence, not at my table. I will challenge that. Uh, let's go, come, do come up. You and me, baby, you said that, you're not getting away with it. It's a bit, it's a bit of book. <laughs> a good glass of red wine is a prerequisite. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the first order of business. Uh, a glass of red wine. Music. Music is a big part of my brain. It's a big part of how I relax. Um, and I suppose ultimately being surrounded by family, you know. Uh, there's nothing like being home and your kids are just excited to see you because they're not interested in what you think. Uh, they just want daddy. And when I get home and I leave it all behind and I walk through the front door, even when you feel tired, just that second where there's that smile that greets you, your day just lights up. A food that I eat that reminds me of a good time, childhood, is probably a food that I shouldn't eat. Amakuinya no loose. What is that? Fit cook and tripe? Oh yeah, you wanna kill me? That's what you do. That's what you put on the table. I find the chain smokers, you know, uh, the hottest thing right now. So that's 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 what I'm bending my ear to right now.